time to get you dressed. What's going on today? Yeah. I know, I know you hate it, but we're gonna look so beautiful today. You wanna see yourself? Whoa! Look at the girl, look at this little outfit. You better? Briella, are we all ready for today? Say hi everybody, we're ready for today. What are we doing today, baby? What are we doing? Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Let's go. We're getting our ears pierced. <gasps> You're so excited. You're gonna be so beautiful with your ears pierced. Yeah, so we're about to head to the doctor. Now we're gonna get it done at her pediatrician's office. Yeah, you're so excited. We're all very excited here. You gonna get those ears pierced? Yeah, so excited. All right, let's go. We gotta get you ready in the car seat. Yay. <laughs> Leaving the house is like 10 times more difficult these days. We're out. So, we'll be right back, okay? Love you. So we are off to the doctor's. A little bit of hectic morning. I wanted to like film more, but if you don't have, you know, if you don't wake up early enough, it's just impossible with the baby. But Brianna should be sleeping. It's actually her nap time, but she is awake and probably, well, hopefully she'll go to sleep on this car ride. You know, get her ears pierced. Hopefully it's not bad. I'm kind of nervous for her reaction. I hope it's just like how she is with like her shots and it's just kind of like, like an immediate cry. And some shock and then yeah, and yeah. then she's over in five seconds. So I hope that's kind of what happens here. But I wanted to get it done while she was young so she won't wouldn't remember it. I mean, I'm very happy that my mom did that for me. I wouldn't want to... I don't know, I wouldn't want to remember it. I'm a baby with any of that stuff, so. And they give us like earrings to put in? Yes. Like some like fake earrings? Well, not fake, they're like coated. Oh. That's what she told me. Six weeks, we could change them to whatever we want. Yeah, you're so beautiful. You so excited? You're just eating the top of that? Okay. All right, guys, we're back home. It was a very traumatic experience. Oh. But we did it! We're gonna give still, her a bottle now to totally get happy. her a little bit more happy. But that was, honestly... Oh, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay, baby, it was horrible. But we're fine, we're fine. All right, time for bottle. There was really like no way to film. I thought it would be a cute moment to film her getting her ears pierced, but it was honestly probably the most traumatic thing I've ever experienced, so. Just wasn't having I'm trying to feed her now, get her all happy. Having her bottle, I think she's still in like a state of shock. But I know she'll be happier when she's older and it's, you know, already done with. But yeah, I didn't expect it to be like that. So I think we're all a little shocked. <laughs> but they look really beautiful. In the car, I was just trying to convince her, not convince her, but I just kept saying like, do you still love me? I felt really, feel really guilty. My poor baby. But she looks so good. She looks so good. Right? Alright, so I'm eating some avocado eggs and some sour bread toast. We are watching Stars on Mars. <laughs> well, we were. <laughs> T's begging Briella. What's going on? Say hi, B. Say I'm a little bit better. She's making lots of noises. <laughs> yeah, you're making lots of noises. And mommy is pumping. T wants to be on camera. T, you jumped up. You wanted to say hello? T? Maybe he just wants food. 
Yeah, I think he just wants food. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna feed Briella some, because she didn't really want to finish her milk, so I don't know how hungry she is, but I can't really feed her this oatmeal when she's so hungry, because like she is, you know, impatient. <gasps> you, you know what to do already? Oh. How do you like it? She kind of knows what to do because in the hospital, I, uh, she wasn't latching at all in the hospital, that's why I pump and everything, but she, um, I would literally, like, compress my, my, uh, colostrum into a spoon for her at the hospital <laughs> and feed her like this. So I feel like she kind of just remembers how to do it, you know? Do you think so? I think so. I feel like she kind of just, like, remembers. She does pretty well. Yeah. I think she likes it. I, it's just rice cereal. I mean, there's no taste at all. Yeah, but. it just tastes like breast milk. But she does pretty good, but I just... We were back and forth if we wanted to even, you know, give her rice cereal. Because, you know, there's no... There's no noise to her, but we kind of want to get her used to... Just the whole motion of eating and the texture and stuff. Right, baby? You doing good? You like it? No, no, no hands in the mouth. All she wants to do is feed her hands. Baby, you want some more? Want some more? Oh, good job. Yay. Here she was, fortunately we never got her to lash, so that's why I exclusively pump. But she's getting all the food she needs to, so that's all. Right, baby? That's all that matters. <laughs> Yummy! And eating the hands. Okay, so Ben is just um, feeding her. Oh my god, the lighting in here is crazy because the lights are off, but the window is open. Um, so Ben is feeding, finishing feeding the baby. I just wanted to wash stuff, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, stuff to talk more about. Um, the hospital and whatever so Riella so yeah so she was born at 37 weeks and five days so she was born early um, because they were concerned that she wasn't growing uh, so that's like a whole other thing so because of that though she was on like the small side and she um you know she was very tiny and I wanted to exclusively breastfeed, that was my uh, hope. But I knew it was hard because I've heard, you know, other moms say that, you know, it's hard, whatever. I just wanted to do whatever I could to, that I just wanted Brielle to eat. So in the hospital, I made a lot of colostrum, like, it is a lot, just an insane amount. I. So she, you know, she should have been, you know, fine eating, but she wasn't latching. We had like three different latch consultants, uh, breastfeeding consultants, lactation consultants, you know, come in, help, and, you know, she, just when I thought, you know, she might be getting it, my milk, when my milk came in and my boob changed again, it was just, it was just way too much for her. My milk comes in way too fast. My boobs got, you know, obviously bigger and it was just impossible, so, for her to get a good latch, so. I just wanted to make sure that she was eating and in the hospital at one point she had low blood sugar, which was scary and I, you know, because she wasn't eating enough and I just, you know, that was that. I, the most important thing is that she eats and that's really all I cared about, so that's when we, that's when I just decided that I was just gonna pop. Um, so, thank goodness for the, I have uh, the Willow pump. I also have a Spectra that I have to use one time because my Willow wasn't working, but because of, you know, when you're pumping, your whole life revolves around pumping, especially in the beginning when like you don't really know your milk's coming in and everything's just gone, kind of going crazy and getting, you know, I was getting so many clogs and so many 
like knots kind of like of just milk like it was just crazy in the beginning and so I my milk was I just have a lot of milk I have so much freezer stash I have to buy another freezer to put all that milk in because you know in the beginning they don't eat a lot she's only eating 15 milliliters for like the first week so that's nothing so when I was making a lot so yeah so which is good you know now we have milk in the freezer that we could use in everything but you know her little mouth was just so little she was born at five pounds nine ounces and she was small and then when we left the hospital I think she went to five pounds four ounces and it took her two weeks to get back to just five pounds nine ounces because she, you know, she was a tiny little girl but she was small but mighty and uh you know she's doing great and yeah it's not a big deal as long as your baby is eating that is the most important thing i just have to say washing all these dishes all the time is you hear her? she's eating she's not happy uh so yeah washing all these dishes is probably the hardest part about pumping because with the willows i can just pump on the go especially with the bags everywhere we go i'm just all pumping the car if we're like out and about i'll just you know hop in the car pump really quick go back out and do my thing so honestly it's so easy i really can't say more good things about just pumping on the go now, obviously it can be inconvenient but these new pumps i don't know how people you know did it back in the day you literally can't do anything when you have you know with the spectra the one time i did the spectra that was horrible I'll, and i have the one that plugs into the wall so you can't even move and it was just the worst experience plus it, it honestly like hurt more the spectra even though my the willow pumps i have the willow the willow three generation or something i don't even know what it's called but it's really strong but the spectra hurt baby what happened you over this okay all right it's still, okay I think she's over being in the chair. Yeah, she just might be grumpy now. Look how good you're doing. Okay, all right. I'll... Um, I'm literally sitting on like a little ball. Now I'm like too low. Whatever. I need a new little thing for this to like lift it. But like I was saying, so yeah. So she was born early, but honestly, I I was induced. Uh. I didn't want to be induced. I wanted to have her naturally. It was one of the hardest decisions I had to make was getting induced. I was a mess about it, but the doctors, you know, they thought that that was best and you know, I didn't want to do the wrong thing. So yeah, but obviously everything happens for a reason. God had a plan for us and he gave us a beautiful, healthy little baby. Uh, so that's the most important thing obviously and she's just thriving even though she was born you know 37 weeks six days i think that's yeah so you know not that early but also not that uh it's like not that early but i don't know i felt so early at the time uh but she's doing so great so great she's definitely going through that four month sleep regression now though which she actually slept through with a few little hiccups, I put her down at like seven. No, not seven. She had her last bottle at seven, but then she didn't go down to like maybe eight something. But she had a few hiccups until I went to sleep after eleven because I was trying to pump uh, an extra time before I went to sleep because I feel like my supply is going down a little bit because I was trying to space my pumps out more just so that it was a little bit easier for me throughout the day. But I think that that caused my supply to go down so now I'm staying up later just to do that extra pump but um so after when I went to sleep so I was like at 11 30 she slept until I woke her up this morning at seven something so it's pretty good pretty good she's been you know just going crazy with the teething the eating of the hands and that whole thing so yeah all normal for what she's going through but She's doing so good, I just put her down for her little nap. She takes all of her naps in her crib now. Can you see? Sort of. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's better. Yeah, so she does all of her naps in her crib because eventually we will transition her to the crib 
at night, which I don't even know how I'm gonna do. I really don't know because how could she not be right next to me? You know, I wake up to every little movement and every little thing she does, but I'm happy about it because I'm like, oh, she's okay. Oh, she's okay. <laughs> All night. Uh, so, I don't know. That's gonna be like a whole other thing. Especially with, I have two different cameras. So I have the, the Nanit camera that's above her, uh, above her crib. Uh, and then that goes to an app on my phone. And then I have that another camera, which I forget the name of. Oh, Infant Optics. So I have this one too. And this one we use for in the bedroom when she sleeps in her bassinet, if she goes to bed early or anything like that, we have this one. This one I like for the fact that I don't need my phone. You know, it's just so easy, it's on this. Of course I like the app, it's like I, I like both, but for me sleeping through, you know, without her, if she's going to be sleeping in her crib, I know the app still plays in the background so you could hear the noise, but I feel like you can hear it so much better on this. Plus there's a delay on the app a little bit. So, I don't know. Would it be crazy mom of me to put two cameras just <laughs> at her all night long? Probably. Probably, but that's probably what's going to happen because I'm going to be really nervous to do that. Uh, but we're probably not going to do that until she's closer to six months. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she's doing great. Uh, I feel like we'll give... I feel like this is all over the place with her and all of her updates. Because now she's four months old and everything. Uh, so I feel like we just need a whole video on just Briella. So And maybe my pregnancy too. Because I had a good pregnancy, but... There was some little hiccups along the way and even like, you know, getting pregnant, the whole thing. I feel like that needs a whole video in itself. But, you know, I just can't even believe we're here now. I have, you know, the baby that I prayed so hard for. I can't even, I'll get emotional. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I don't know, maybe we'll film more tomorrow. I don't know, but uh, now she's just gonna go down for her nap. Ben has work, so he's getting ready for work now. And I'm uh, gonna try to edit the first video. I kind of edited it. I just haven't, I forget how to upload it. So I have to do that, because I thought I did it last night, but it says it still says it's downloading, so I definitely did something wrong. But I edited it pretty fast. It's, uh, what's today? It's the 18th, I think we filmed on the 16th for our first video, which again was all over the place. There's so many things that I didn't add in there. Like, it's just so many years, I mean it was only three years, but in that three years, uh, my friend Crystalyn, uh, she, I don't know if she got married while we were, I don't even know. So she got married, she had a baby, my goddaughter Liliana, uh, and then my so that, that happened, my sister-in-law got married, she got engaged uh, a month before me, she got married in August of 2021, and then she had a baby boy, James, uh, that's uh, Vin's godson, he, uh, and that was last March, uh, so he just turned one. Uh, and then, so that happened, my sister got married, just so much so much has happened that my best friend uh, Kelly she got engaged uh, she got pregnant and she had a son she had Nate so just so much has happened we had bachelorette parties we had showers we had just so much so and I <laughs> I tried to put it all in the video but I feel like it's very uh it's hard when we were just in the car and just kind of trying to remember the years it's like three years, but look how much happened in three years. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm giving little Brielle and Mia a bath. We still give her sink baths because I can't fit into, not that I can't fit, her bath is just too deep. I literally can't reach her in our bath yet. So, look at her. It's a bath time with the baby. Yeah. It's a bath time with the baby. You say hi, everybody. Oh. <gasps> Bye, everybody.
everybody. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Mommy has to change me after a bath on the floor because I'm just so crazy after a bath. Yeah, she's too crazy for the changing table. You tell everybody? See, look at my crazy hair. And my crazy brother. I love you, Titi. You okay? Everything's okay. <gasps> the girl! Oh! <laughs> Oh my goodness! You're crazy! Gotta clean those earrings! Yay! All good? Look at all these red rashes from... Yes, from eating your hands. Can we bridge there? Nobody believes me that our hair just flows into this one section, but that's just how it flows. See, that's just how it flows, everybody. It just goes into a point. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You see everybody? We're officially signing off now. Say goodnight everyone. I'm all clean. Can you say goodbye? Vienna. You say bye-bye? She says no. I just eat my hand. Is it delicious? <laughs>